got a singe flip if they dash in. You've got a singe W to root them in that flip as well. So they have tools to peel for their carries pretty well. It's just a case of how this bot lane 2v2 will play out because... They continue I to force here. Doran not going to get the time to do anything. Here they come. Dive inbound. Three versus one. Doran, what are you going to do? Stun coming out. You can't do anything. They're just going to point and click you down. Oh, it's effortless. It's a clean dive for RNG. And this RNG team has just been so proactive in only the first three minutes of the game. I have uh, Gala go back there in the first place, then move towards mid and secure the Herald with that numbers advantage. But Chobi locked down. Oh, and the CC chain is beautiful. Flawlessly timed from Gala, Ming, and Xiaohu to lock him down. Like you said, just the coordination there. Xiaohu going in, locking Chobi down. And then Gala having the Gravitum able to follow up. Didn't matter that Chobi had the cleanse. Instantly goes down. Ruler. Oh my god, audience. He's got it out! He's dead. Oh, the cheers! It should have warned him, but he couldn't hear it through all the white noise. Lehens now moving forward, getting pulled back. The Singe so incredibly obnoxious. Wayne now running for his heels. Oh. That's a clean flash in! The knock up, the damage, the bow of Lehens will find the kill with the poison. The lock in coming in from Gal on the backside. Big burst damage coming into the combo. Enough to finish the job, and Gal will oh, grab a kill. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, Chobi versus Xiao, who will 1v. They're gonna throw him back in, not quite gonna hit the Rudy's lead. Oh. Now he's looking for the 1v1 with Ruler. Ruler running. The snare, where's it going to go? Lehens chasing him down. The Singe feels oh. like inevitability. Breathe just slowly, but surely getting burned. Down, but no! What the? Oh, wait, what? How does he get one back? The patience to hold the leap strike. Yeah, so huge coming up for Breathe. The fact that he made that happen. This is why RNG is so happy to give him this Jax. And he even flashed into the bloody wall. He didn't escape. He misplayed it, but still managed to find the kill. Gala's fighting Peanut here. Gala leaping away. Chovy! Massive shutdown. 500 gold into his back pocket. Everything for the Azir. And that could be the difference maker. Chovy with some good these waves. Peanut Doran on the top side. Breathe pretty strong, but no sums available to him. Waiting for the pullback to ensure that they can knock him into the wall. That's the chain CC. TP now coming in immediately. Genji know that it's time to get out. They do not overcommit to the play. Doran gonna ult for the extra movement speed. Xiaohu coming in now. They're gonna look for the knockback, but it whiffs! Peanut whiffs completely, and now Doran is a dead man walking. Breathe will grab another kill. RNG, they commit the TPs and they find the play. It finally gives them an opening to use this Rift Herald. We see Chovy doesn't commit for the full turret on bot side, does stop. That's the only person they need to track. Lehen's no flash, Ruder no flash. If he lands on those two in a fight, they will be absolutely blown up by RNG with the Graves ult follow up, the Jax diving in the Leon ult. Battle lines are drawn. Genji coming through mid, RNG on the bot side of this fight. What can Chovy get done? Does he go in? Does he play for front to back? How does Doran? Navigate through this fight as Xiaohu is looking. Tension. This could be huge. Oh. Lock up Chobi and a flank on the backside, but Chobi still managed to get out. No, Chobi taking down. Gala's massive. It's all about Gala. It's all about the Chakrams. Genji running for the hills. Gala says not today. Pushes them away, forces them back, and will take the Inferno. And now RNG on Soul Point. They're going to be able to make their way towards mid, push us in, potentially even look towards the Baron. Such a long death timer on Chobi. They're running towards the top side of the river. I think you might be right. Xiaohu does have TP up. It just came off the spellbook cooldown. So they're getting two waves to play on. The question is, do they look to this full-on dive here? They're giving up mid-wave. They're just sending five members top here. Genji matching. Lehen's on the way. Now moving Peanut. in. Peanut trying to find a bit of an engage here. Just a bit of poke now. Traded back. Doran on the retreat. Jahu going back in. Peanut now locked out. Locked down. Big Abelio assault on the back side, but no follow-up quite yet. RNG finding one so far. Traded back on the opposite side. Support for jungle in the end. So and one for one. Honestly, RNG, I think... Not able to find the fight they want, right? Genji under their turret. Genji able to use those safety tools they have and things like the Senna Ultimate, so the Collapse can't really get any more than Peanut. Yeah, Peanut gets absolutely shredded through. Has a lot of tenacity, but RNG does have a lot of damage. Gala wasn't even hitting him in that fight, and he still got melt. If RNG over commit, it's just this initial engage of RNG is just so powerful that someone always dies from Genji, and then the Lissandra reset comes forwards, and they can start to push through. Doran might be caught here. Doran. He needs to be careful. Oh! Out, ulti coming in. Maybe enough healing. Do they have enough damage to finish him off? He has so much armor. The damage from Lissandra, the only real threat, but no, they're gonna finish him. Way taking him down. The Thrall coming through as well. Genji... Forced to back away, they have to be ready to contest, but Breathe already on the flank. It's a 4v5 for a soul. It looks as good as done here if RNG just waits for Breathe to TP back in and threaten Genji if they decide to walk up. Can Peanut sacrifice himself to steal it? Will RNG even let him? The Light Vigil goes wide, Ming getting chunked down, getting lower and lower. That's Infernal Soul, and now they can take the fight to follow, but instead RNG backing away, knowing they've already been chunked Gala. They can't afford to walk into that Aphelios turret. They're going to take so much damage if they do. Hands. 
Using a third of his HP just for walking in. RNG now on the retreat. They walk away with the major objective. It is eating over the wall. Here comes Shadow. Whoa! Oh, oh. The end. Look at a one-shot ruler. Goes Golden stops the out from disengaging. Toby waiting over the wall. The Sand Soldiers, how much work can they do? Toby looking to be the difference maker. Shahu now taking down, but no, Gallo! <laughs> Monster damage from the Graves in the Abelios. RNG slaughter Genji in the fight. Shahu bought so much time, but the second Wayne Gala were able to join up so much AoE damage coming out from Wayne Gala's ultimates, and this might just be over. There's the three item spike that RNG was waiting for. That's why there was one to two minutes downtime, and Gala made a hell of an arrival. Instantly destroys Gen G, and they might just end it here. And despite an inconsistent plan stage, RNG coming out with an incredible showing in game one versus Gen G. Chovy doing what he can to hold the line, but it will not be enough. RNG taking their first win of the group stage. Like you said, they, they might. Also on the run here, but he should be fine with the Freaks may have allowed you to accelerate this game as over the wall. In comes Faker, gonna land that charm.